Ja, det er det. At a causeway on the Nicholson River, locals are catching cherubin by the bucketful. These are the world's largest prawn, commonly referred to as a cherubin. Make good earrings, see? <laughs> uh, but yeah, they're a freshwater species. They go down to germinate the eggs in the, in the brackish, mostly reside in the fresh otherwise. And uh, no difference in quality or taste to a banana tiger prawn or anything, but far larger, obviously. The average uh, tiger banana prawn 50 grams, the average one of these is about 200, 240 grams, and they get far larger than this. Uh, and as you can see, we caught more by hand than we did with our scoop net or cast net. We caught nothing in the cast net. Four or five in there and the rest by hand. Next one. Gangalita man Murundu Yana has lived in Burketown in the Lower Gulf all his life. He's passed on his knowledge of Aboriginal fishing practices to his son, Murundu Jr. After the monsoonal floods in the region earlier this year, these giant freshwater prawns aren't hard to find. It's a well-known saying in the Gulf, flood on land means flood on sea. One cherub and one eel-tailed golden catfish. What makes them so big? A really healthy ecosystem, plenty of food, and yeah, that's probably it. Mm. So nothing affecting their health yeah, in yeah. terms of industrial pollution or anything, and, uh, and plenty of tucker and nice, uh, the best water you can get, oxygenated water. Everything's bigger in the Gulf, in the barrel, <laughs> the crocs. But Murundu warns, you always have to watch out for saltwater crocodiles, known to populate these waters. How do you avoid the crocodiles while you're in all that water? Um, well, used to a stand over here where we know them to come from. <laughs> so firstly, you have my designated diversion. But no, it's, um, so the crocs will be there in the deep, and over there in the deep. So we're basically up here in the shallow, and we know the area well, and we keep our head on a swivel. But I'm known the area. The only reason we're half comfortable there, croc. A large croc, large enough, would have to expose itself, come out of that deep, would see him. That is a big fella. 